Republicans march in D.C. against Judge Brett Kavanaugh, while GOP senators accept the sham FBI investigation that didn't even bother to interview the woman who accused him of sexual assault. Our cameras were on Capitol Hill, and you will hear the voices of folks who protest. sexual predator in the White House with his cohorts, and it's time that all women, I don't care what color, what age, stand up and get rid of every Republican anywhere, because they are about destroying us and taking us back to 1700. Uh, and also, beyond the folks who were outside, they also lined the hallways of the Hart Building. Uh, and their goal was to shut it down. Cops didn't inform because there were so many people uh, who were in the various offices. Let's go right to our panel here joining us today. A. Scott Bolden, attorney, former chair of the D.C. Democratic Party. Uh, D.D. Baz Wilbon, principal at Baz Public Affairs. And Dr. Greg Carr, chair of the Department of Afro-American Studies at Howard University. Uh, Senator uh, McConnell, the majority leader, he also uh, had lots of things negative to say about Democrats. Uh, and I still find it quite interesting to listen to Republicans actually have a straight face in complaining about process <clears throat> when I recall President Obama nominating a Supreme Court nominee and Republicans would not even give him a meeting, not a hearing. Mm -hmm. No, many of them wouldn't, would not even meet with him. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's a little hard for me to listen to somebody talk about process when they said the hell with a process and held a seat open for 243 days and were proud to, to deny a president elected twice by the people mm -hmm. who won the Electoral College and the popular vote, right. unlike Donald Trump. Scott? Yeah, r really, it is the height of hypocrisy and the depth of GOP. Men who make up the GOP, who simply don't on the care, committee, on the committee, on the committee, who simply don't care. You see the women, men, white and black protesting. You see that the judicial temperament issue. Watch this, and his his misleading or lies about his drinking have now dominated the protest. Not the fact that he allegedly uh, assaulted this woman 36 years ago, and the GOP anger is directed at the Dems, but it's only directed at the Dems because they cannot direct it at her uh, uh, directly or, or specifically. So the angst they have towards the Dem is really angst they have towards her. Didi, is it a real investigation when the White House limits the scope of the investigation and they don't even interview Dr. Ford who accused him of sexual, sexual assault? I think the investigation, this is like the seventh FBI investigation that they've done. And investigation. Wow. She, I think she did five people that could corroborate her testimony. Those people said they could not. The other people, I think it was a large number. I can't remember the exact amount, but um, they weren't involved in this alleged incident. 
it was either before or after. And so if you're doing an investigation, you're investigating that allegation, nothing else. What about so the those, other two accusers? So those other two accusers were not part of, they were not there that night. But, but, they it, were but, not, but, they, the, but the but, other but, two accusers for Dr. Um, they had their separate Ford, incidents. Th their separate incidences. Mm -hmm. And so you have, this investigation, to my knowledge, is based on her testimony and what happened with but, her. But, but, but why limit an investigation yeah. solely to her testimony if there are others who come forward to say this happened? This this very much is very similar to what happened with Bill, where you had a sister who mm -hmm. who and she did not back out, only called they, they purposely limited the scope of of the uh, of the investigation to one person. Well, I mean, how is that? How is that a complete investigation? I think it's very clear that not only is this not a complete investigation, um, fascism creeps. It doesn't head at once. Uh, when you look at Hitler in 1938, 1939, he won an election, and then he promised to make basically make Germany great again. Mm -hmm. Then he annexed part of Czechoslovakia. Then uh, England coddled him. Next thing you know, we're in World War II. Let's contrast this now. These people are going to ram Kavanaugh on the Supreme Court down the throat of the American people out of spite. They have another two dozen people they could put on who are ideologically the same. Anytime you see not just the American Bar Association, but you see John Paul Stevens came out, retired Supreme Court justice, and said, mm -hmm. the man is qualified. Let's hold distinct this fake investigation. Because that's what the roof is what he admitted. Set that aside. John Paul Stevens said he's qualified. Not nominated by a Democrat. That's exactly right. Nominated by Republicans. That's exactly right. And then he said, but what changed his mind was this man's performance one week ago today. Unhinged performance. Judicial, well, when well, no, no, I mean, but, judicial when temperament. When you're sitting in a courtroom and when you're sitting anywhere and you know, a judge? and you know that you are innocent. You know that you didn't do anything. You wouldn't get upset. <laughs> the but hold on, but 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 Didi, but Didi, but Didi himself. Hold on, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. One second, but Didi, but Didi, but Didi, but Didi had had somebody operated the exact same way he did. He would admonish that person in a courtroom for their tone, for their tenor, for their attitude. That's what he would do. How do you know that? Because okay, Scott, you're a lawyer. Okay. And Brett I Kavanaugh was was two. the judge. Would Brett Kavanaugh uh, uh, allow you to behave the way he did in the courtroom? Absolutely. But here's the other thing. I've prepped witnesses for 28 years. There is a way that we prep witnesses if they want to be angry, emotional, if they're upset, or if they're wrongfully accused, whether you're on the prosecution side or defense side. And there is a way for him to con convey all of that. But what did he convey? I don't mind the emotion and the anger. What I mind is the gratuitous partisan attacks on the Democratic senators, including the women. And secondly, in the Q&A, he was completely obnoxious and offensive, lacked no decorum whatsoever. And those protesters out there that you just showed, that's really what they're reacting to. And when to. you tell a senator who admitted that her father was, was an alcoholic, well, she well, knew that the bottom line she needs her vote in this job interview. Hmm. It is outrageous. The but again, though, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back. I'm, I'm going to go back. I'm going back to the same you're question. Proven, you're innocent until proven guilty. That doesn't mean he you can be disrespectful, you're offensive, absolute, or lack any decorum. You are so, Dee Dee, here's the question: right, but Exactly. But, but, no, but, but, but no, 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 one second. One second. Here, if he's guilty or not. One second. Here's my question. Here's my question. And does he have the temperament? Here's my question. Does temperament matter to the Supreme Court? Exactly. It does. No, I'm asking. Does it matter? It does. Do you believe that Brett Kavanaugh showed the proper temperament of a Supreme Court justice, one of only nine? A nominee. And in fact, and when if he is sworn in, one of 114 in American history, mm -hmm. was that proper temperament? He was upset. No, I'm asking you a question, yes or no. Okay. Yeah. Was the temperament displayed by Brett Kavanaugh, was that proper for somebody to be a Supreme Court justice? It was proper for justice? someone who was being uh, falsely accused. You can't tell me that if he, when he gets on the bench, that he is going, and you can't lump every judge in America One saying second. that every One judge second. is going to call someone out if they act that Didi, way in court. I'm going to ask... I worked with two Supreme Didi. Court judges in Atlanta, Georgia, <laughs> and I've seen them, and I've seen You've people... You've seen them in, act that way? No, I have not. Right, so, 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 no, so I'm going that, to ask... I, excuse me, I'm I wasn't finished. Okay. I said that I worked with them, and I 
saw and I've seen them get upset and intense over different cases. And I've seen the people in their courtrooms get upset and intense over other cases. So you can't say that once he gets on the bench that he will get excited or he will get emotional the way he got emotional. You can't say that. You but, can't. But, you don't know well, the, without a shadow I, of a doubt I, that I, it will I, happen. Hold on. You saw what that proper temperament of somebody to be one of nine Supreme Court justices and the 114th in American history, yes or no? It's on answer. Scott, Scott, go ahead, yes or no? It was not the proper way, maybe, but he, if someone is accusing me of something, okay. I'm going to get well, intense. If someone's accusing you, wouldn't you want to be thoroughly vindicated? But yes. it's okay. But it's okay. No. Here's what I'm saying. It, it, you, you're, no, you're absolutely right. I would want to so be let's, thoroughly you know vindicated. What? I, I really but don't. then there have been seven I, I, investigations I really don't already, care right? because the Republican Party... You investigate through, what, what you well, the Republican Greg, Party, go ahead. The Republican Party, through gerrymandering, through stealing elections, through voter suppression, has put themselves in a position now to roll back the, the 20th century on the federal bench. Let them have it. Mm -hmm. When he's confirmed and when he's sitting on that bench and when these stories not only don't go away but begin to come out, what we're watching is the dismantling of the federal apparatus. Article three of the federal constitution, an independent judiciary, is about to be broken beyond repair. So let's just get it on. But, but watch this. There's another part to this that it ought to be even more disturbing. If and when, or if he gets on the bench, despite his temperament, right, that presentation probably disqualified him from hearing and sitting on several cases. You think so, Scott? Sexual assault. Ah. I think it disqualifies him from sitting on any issues brought by the Democrats or Democratic leaning organizations. You think organizations. he'd have to recuse himself? I think he would, appropriately, he wow. should. I'm not saying he would, right, right. right? I think he's got to recuse Even himself from anything related to anything related to the Clinton uh, investigation. No question about that. The president said appropriately. I'm not saying no, no, no. This is about his temperament and the things he gratuitously said to those senators sitting there. And and it 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 was not judicious. The temperament, I, I represent clients who have to make incredible presentations on distress and anger. And there's a way he could have conveyed that without gratuitously taking partisan attacks. I mean, I think and he and Donald Trump wrote that presentation. Oh, sure. They sat together. That's not why they... He, Donald yeah. Trump was the only other person who no read what he said. Go get him, That's guy. Go and, get him, boy. And he purged himself. This was a red, red meat speech. I want, I want, I want to do this here. One second.